all right farmers welcome back to the channel right so today we've got a load of new mods i mean we've had loads drop these last couple of days but today has got to be the most that i've seen for a long time got absolutely loads so we're gonna have to rattle through these because we've got quite a lot to get through so first up we've got this little beauty here we've got the diesel canister this is by tf2020 mods it's 0 0.30 megabytes on the download and as you can imagine it's a diesel canister so if you're out in the field and you're doing your jobs and harvesting or whatever and you run out of fuel you can get hold of one of these and you can fill up your tractor or your harvester or whatever vehicle you're using you'll find these in the shop menu they are under pallets they are diesel canister 25 pound to buy it'll hold 20 liters so it's not that big but if you're in a pinch and you've run out of fuel this could be the thing that gets you back to the fuel station the options on there you can change the main color to any of those on that palette yeah very nice indeed gets you out a bit of a bind if you run out of fuel so that's the diesel canister by tf2020 mods right so the next one we've got up is this massey ferguson so it's the massey ferguson 3600 it is by sham 130 9.06 megabyte on the download and it is under tractors medium tractors to be precise we'll go all the way along to the end and we got it there the mf3670 so you've got a couple of options on the wheels uh, you can add a front attacher and you've got a couple of options on the engines as well and you can change the main color to red or blue whichever you want to go for yeah very nice indeed obviously older style older design so more square on the front but that does look really nice if you want to go down the road of the old role play with the older style tractors this could be a nice little addition to your farm nicely detailed inside as well yeah excellent that's the massey ferguson 3600 right next up we got this deutz far now this is by red cat 3d it's the deutz far series 9 you'll find this under large tractors then we go all the way along to the end there we are then we've got a couple of options on the engines so it starts off at 295 horsepower 312 336 and what's going on there that's it that's it on that one a couple of options on the wheels and the wheel brands and the tires and the different options you can have with wheel weights and wider tires and twin wheels and all that sort of malarkey you can also change the interior you've got light grey as standard or you can have beige if that's what you're into and then you can change the colour from the green to the warrior black it does look nice in that warrior black I must admit yeah ok let's jump inside it's alright that is nicely detailed inside as well more modern than the massive that we've just seen nice little chair there for your mate to sit on yeah excellent do you like that so that's the Deutz Fart series 9 by Red Cat 3D right so next up we've got this here this is the Ponzi Scorpion King and obviously we've had this in 19 before so I think everyone's going to be well aware of what it is and what it does it's a tree harvester so this is by HR Forst and Farz Farzu Ball I apologize if I completely hashed up the pronunciation of that one it's 33.46 megabytes on a download and as you can imagine that's going to be under forestry equipment so go all the way along to the end 
So you've got a couple of options on the tyres. you got position lights, if you want to have them on. You've got back protection, puts a bit of a frame over the back. And you've got an old and a new version of that one. You've got some protection, so it tints the windows for you. You've also got cab protection, although it's written there as cabine protection. Don't know why that's written that way. And then you've got the engine options. You've got the Scorpion or the Scorpion King, depending on what you want to go for. And you can change the main colour to anything on there. You can change the cabine colour or cabin colour if you really want to. To that one there. And the Proze how do you pronounce it? Processor head colour. We'll change that to pink. There we are. So you go for any colour combination you want to. Really make it stand out, really make it unique. You can really put your own style on that. Jump inside. Yeah. Well, these mods that are coming out, they're really detailed. I know we've got the new game that's come in, you know, on FS22, and obviously the graphics are going to be better, but they do look really good. I must admit, they are really good. Excellent. So that's the Ponzi Scorpion King. Right, I'm going to try this again. HR Forced and Farzug Ball. Farzug Bow. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, next up, we've got this here. This is the Flegel SDS 350J low loader. Not the truck on the front, this is the trailer on the back. So this is by Pepe978. It's 7.45 megabytes in the download and it's a low loader. And as you can imagine, you're going to find that in low loaders. So go all the way there. It's going to cost you 23 grand to buy. There's no options on it. And you're going to use this for transporting all your equipment around the map. We'll just jump in this truck here now. So we'll unfold it. Put the ramps down at the back. And what you want to do is when you're... Alright, let's put a tractor on the back. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, we put the Massey on. Obviously, it is decent size. You're going to get some biggish equipment on there. Not much problem. So, obviously, we've got that Massey on there now. On there quite easily. Right. So, it's saying open cover. So that, what that does at the back there, if you can see it, is it opens up the bed. So if you've got this massy on the back, that's quite narrow. If you've got something really wide like a harvester or whatever, you can extend the bed out and it gives you a much better base to drive onto. That's excellent. Fold that back in. It only even puts the boards up at the front. That's nice, that is. That is really nice. Then we'll fold the back up again. Then we'll fasten the tension belts. And it's strapped down nicely. So that tractor's going nowhere. That is excellent. Where are, where's it gone? That's a really nice trailer, that is. Right, so that's the Flegel SDS350J by Pepe978. Right. On to the next one. Like I say, we are going to rattle through these because there's loads to get through. So we got here a New Holland baler. This is by Daniels X321. It's 4.56 megabyte on the download. And as you can imagine, it's a baler. Obviously, a bit of the old school styling on there. A bit more square edge than some of the newer versions. So you'll find this, as you can well imagine... On the balers. There we are. The eight the sorry, the BR6090. Now the only options you got on this is changing the colours. So you got main colour, 
you can change it from yellow or yellow 2 which doesn't make much difference and design color you've got yellow yellow 2 black or black 2 and it will just change that bit at the back so really not anything on the options in the grander scheme of things but all in all that's all right does 125 centimeter bales going to be round bales so you're not going to be able to do anything square with this but no that's all right that is nice little baler that's what you're going to be cracking on with yeah that's a new holland br 6090 by daniel x 321 right so on to this one here now this we have seen this in 19 before this is the great plains yp 2425a cedar this is by adams kong and it's 22.79 megabyte on the download and as you can imagine this is going to be on the cedars maybe not no it's on the plant isn't it there we are which is strange why it's under planters because it actually does everything and you see along the bottom there you got the corn you got the sunflower sugar beets cotton and then the usual cereal based crops so i suppose that had to be in one or the other didn't it they've just put it under the planters even though the website says cedars well it's very nice indeed you're gonna need 280 horsepower tractor to pull it holds 5.5800 litres of seed and this is just a cedar so it's not going to fertilize where you go so you are going to need to go over your crop again once you've seeded but yeah like i said we've seen this before there is an option on the front there you can either have it as a trailer trailer hitch as standard or you can have the three point adapter put on the front so if you've got a tractor that hasn't got the three point hitch on the back or if you want to take it to your field with your pickup truck you can have it like that or if you are using a tractor to move it around you have the three point on the back very nice indeed so look at the wheels oh that's yeah you know, you've got all the springs inside that does look nice yeah you know, big seed tanks at the back all the pipes that is nicely detailed there i do like that a lot Right, so that's the Great Plains YP2425A Cedar Planter, whichever you want to call it, by Adams Kong. Right, we'll move on then. What we've got here is a little pack. The Amazon D830 pack. Now we've got a Cedar and also a Powered Disc Harrow. Now what you do with this is you hook up your tractor to your disc harrow you then hook that up to the front of the cedar and you can cultivate and seed at the same time that's x excellent absolutely brilliant that is so this is by Austre. it's 5.44 megabyte on the download and you will find these in two different places so the cedar as you can imagine is going to be on the cedars there you are, the D830. No options on it. It comes as it is, holds a thousand litres of seed, and it's got a working width of three metres. And then the second part of it is going to be under power, power harrows. Try saying that after you've had a few share bits. Right, it's the Raby MKE 300. So no options on that either. Comes as it is that's a nice little setup that is if you've got small working area a small field or whatever this would be really nice get it all done in one pass nice time saving uh, implements these two put together i like that that's nice right that's the amazon d830 pack by Austre. right on to the next one god there's a lot to get through today Right, this is the Joskin Betamax RDS 6000 by Black Sheep Modding. So this is an animal trailer. It's 4.33 megabytes on the download. It will hold 7 cows, 10 sheep and 10 pigs. And as you can imagine, this is going to be under animals. 
No, it's going to be under animal transport. Sorry. There we are. All right, it's 15 grand is standard. You've got a couple of options on the tyre brands. And you've got beacons, you've got standard or LED. And then you can change the main colour from green to silver. I'd say silver, it's more like galvanised steel, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's all right, that is. Black sheet modding, obviously, they've had quite a few cracking mods they've brought out in the past. And this this looks to be another one. I do like that a lot. Yeah, very nice. If you've got the animals on the go, obviously, you can have them delivered directly to the pens. But if you want to go pick them up, this will work out quite nicely. See, you've got the speed limit sticker on the back there. That's, that, that's a nice little touch, that is. All the warning labels. Yeah, I do like that. That is very nice. Right, so that's the Joskin Betamax. Betamax? That Betamax is a video player. Joskin Betamax RDS 6000. That's what we'll go with. I'm going with that pronunciation. Right, next up here, we have got the Lizard ST 16000 C Tender. There we are. And it is an auger wagon. So, as you can imagine, you'll find this under auger wagons. 22 grand to buy to start with. You've got a couple of options on the tyre brands. And then wide tyres and standard tyres. You can change the main colour to anything on those. And then you can change the rim colour to anything on those. And why do I always go for pink when I'm changing the colours? That's proper random. So what you're going to use this for, if you want to have your workers out in the field and they're doing a bit of seeding, obviously you're going to want to take some seed to them so they don't have to keep backwards and forwards into your, your farm all the time. So you rock up with this, put the pipe out and they can un unload, you can unload to them or they can unload from you, however you want to look at it, at the field side. Very nice indeed. Alright, that's the Lizard ST16000 Seed Tender. And that is by Iceberg00. 5.9 megabyte on the download, if I didn't mention that earlier on. Or did I? I don't know. Alright, carrying on to the next one. Right, so we have got this here. This is the Grigor Besson Trail Lifter. So... What this is, is if you've got a tractor that's only got a trailer hitch on the back, you can hook this off, and at the other end, it's got a three-point hitch. So you can use this as an, uh, an adapter, shall we say, for getting better use out of your older-style tractors. Now, that being said, if you put that on the back of a pickup, Although technically it shouldn't work because it hasn't got the hydraulics hooked up to the back, but would it work? It should do, really. Then you could run all your equipment off the back of a pickup truck. And that's something we're going to need to have a look at. Anyway, this is by Universe Simu Modding. It's 2.65 megabytes on the download. And you're going to find this in miscellaneous. There we are. 15 grand to buy. There's no options. It comes as it is. That being said, as it is, looks very nice indeed. Let's see, you've got the pipe work, the hydraulic pipes, and the lifters. No, what do you call them? Lifter pistons. There you are. Well, I do like that. That looks very nice indeed. Yeah, excellent. Right, that's the Grigor Besson Trailed Lifter. By Universe Simu Modding. Right. We are whipping through these. Okay. This is the Alpego KFZ300. This is by Pepe978. 5.40 megabyte on the download. And this is a subsoiler. So as you can imagine. You're going to find this in subsoilers. There we are. Well that's zoomed in a bit. Right, 11 grand to buy, it requires 160 horsepower 
this three meter working width so not that big usage mind you but like i said on a couple of other ones that we've seen before if you've got small fields if you've got small implement uh, small tractors sorry low horsepower tractors you're not going to want too much on the back otherwise it's not going to pull it so this could do you very nicely no options on it it comes in the yellow but that is very nice indeed yeah got like a lot of detail on that all the belt heads and all the warning stickers and yeah i like that that's the alpego kfz 300 by pepe 978 right what we've got here is the gutler matador 30 now this is a roller so you'll find this as you can imagine under rollers there we are 2100 by there's no options on it it comes as it is it's three meter working width and as the name would suggest it will roll the small stones back into the ground so if you've got large stones obviously you're gonna to have to come and get a rock picker but if you've only got small ones whilst you prep in your field this could work out quite nice for you really cheap as well two grand that is nice i do like a nice bargain excellent right so that's a good let matador 30 that is by rick black label twd modding and it's 2.21 megabyte on the download so we'll go on to the next one which is this this is the Rao polymag 300 this is a cultivator it's by camillos 0397 it's 2.04 megabyte on the download and as you can imagine it'll be under cultivators there we are so the only option you've got on there is to change the color so you go for anything on there it will change the frame so all the tines and the discs they'll all still stay black but if you want to change the frame on it that's entirely up to you so this has got three meter working width and it's going to require a hundred horsepower tractor to pull it so again like i've already said in this video if you've got small fields you've got small power tractors this could be a nice little thing for you nice little cultivator to get your prepping on the go yeah that's all right that is three point hitch at the front excellent that's the Rao polymag 300 cultivated by camillos 0397 all right we've got this now this is definitely a firm favorite from 19 this is the front lifter this is also by pepe 978 and it's 141.49 megabyte on the download and this is going to be found in miscellaneous there we are so as it says this is going to allow you to have a three point no, not three point hitch is it a front lifter So this is going to allow you to have a front hydraulic lift optional addition right so the website says this is a standard front hydraulic lift optional additionally for tractors that do not have this accessory so if you've got a tractor older style tractor that hasn't got the three point hitch on the front or one of the bigger tractors like the quad track that we had in 19 that is going to be coming out at some point or the john deere 9rx you know they don't have front lifters on the front you can hook this up to it and then away you go you can use that as well like a normal tractor so that's excellent obviously this has been in the game uh it's been in 19 anyway for a while so i think everyone's going to be familiar with that but yeah always having the extras in the game it's always a nice bonus very nice indeed right next up we've got this here we've got the quickie hdv 240 there's two parts to this and i don't know why they haven't come out the same or next to each other when i bought them so we've got this bit here we've got the bucket and all the way up 
the end we've got this adapter so the adapter is going to allow you to use front loader equipment on tele handlers so it's a tele hander to front loader equipment adapter so you'll find that on the tele handler tools yeah it's going to cost you 400 to buy and you can change it to any of those colors there change the main frame obviously you leave the pins in that silver color and then go back down to the bucket and you'll find this on the front loader tools there we are you can have the option for a front loader you can have the option for the tele handler and that is it well i was saying that will it need the adapter if you've got the option for the tele handler will it need it for what's it look like around the back no see that? oh, that's that's interesting so if you have front loader that's the normal front loader attaches if you have it the tele handler it comes on with the attachment already so you don't have to buy it separately there you are nice little top tip for you this is going to be a 2000 litre bucket as well the only other thing I'm going to say about that though although it is quite a lot more expensive the Ruby 2000 next to it has got 2300 litre but then that has got the cut a bit at the bottom so this is a lot cheaper and not that much smaller obviously the only other bucket we've got on the front load is there is that universal bucket at 1000 litres so this one holds 2000 litres so twice as big not that much more expensive so it's 1600 to 2100 so you get twice as much capacity for only 500 more so that is a nice bargain there right so this is by maxter and it's 2.06 megabyte on the download if i hadn't said that before i can't remember what i'm saying now there's so many mods right on to the next one we have got this here this is the new holland 830 kilo weight this is by stv modding it's 1.26 megabyte on the download and it's a weight so you'll find this under weight as you can imagine there new holland branded version you've got the main color that you can change to anything on there so we'll go with a new holland yellow that's very bright that yellow is that looks very nice indeed uh, it does look quite similar to the john deere slice weights so all the different sections there but the difference between this and the john deere one you can't change the weight capacity it's 850 kilo that's it there's no options on it apart from changing the color but that is very nice indeed i do like that yeah you can see there on the side 45 kilo so that's gonna be 45 kilo per element on the front shall we say so that was yellow obviously i've bought the black one so if you've got something heavy on the back you're going to want something heavy on the front to balance it all out yeah very nice indeed that's a new holland 850 kilogram weight by stv modding all right so next up as you can see poking out the corner we've got this pallet now this is a fillable pallet it's by now i'm going to try and pronounce this tark z 007 it's 0.12 megabytes on the download and as the name suggests it's a fillable pallet so you'll find this in the shop under pallets and it's there you can put any of those bulk crops in there you can store it for later it will hold 2000 liters and it's stackable according to the website so if you've got a load of crops you haven't got a silo or you haven't got a silo that will take them because if you look there obviously if you're just starting on the game and the main farm silo on elm creek doesn't take everything you can drop these in you know it doesn't take potatoes you can stack them in these pallets no problem very nice indeed that is i like that another little option for your storage so that's a fillable pallet by Tarxy 007 i really do 
butcher some of these names i am so sorry if you're watching this i do apologize right on to the next one what we've got here is three bales and you're probably going to turn around and say well we've already got bales in the game what's three more these are three small square bales what's good about these is you can pick them up but you can buy these at the shop i know you can make the smaller bales with some of the balers but these are the ones that you can buy at the shop so this is by Tarxy 007 again it's 38 kilobytes on the downloads that's really small that is and you're going to find these in the shop and they're under bales so you've got the straw 100 you've got grass at 200 and you've got hay at 300 if you go in you've got the option to buy multiples of them if you want to up to 16 that 16 is going to cost you 1600 quid not bad at all yeah if they, you want to go and chuck some bales around if that's what you want to be cracking on with there you are just throw that one around yeah you, know, you want to pull up next to your animals next to your cows or next to your sheep or whatever you're doing chuck the bales in literally chuck the bales in because you can lift them up these could be the ones for you right that's the bible small square bales by tarxy 007 now on to the last one for today right this is the machine shelter this is by Bartsonov 3 it's 3.27 megabyte on the download and it is a storage shelter so you'll find this under the construction menu and it will be under sheds under buildings and it's going to cost you 10,600 to buy so what I've done I've parked the Deutz file that we've seen early on in this video just to see how much room we have got underneath it it is a drive through shed so it's open both ends obviously you have got these braces down the sides you're not going to be able to go through or you can walk through but you're not going to be able to drive through any of the sides but if you want to keep your tractors and your equipment out of the rain very nice indeed I didn't see any light switches around so whether those lights come on those lights are a tannoy system I think they're lights they may come on automatically at night well you'll find out when it gets dark won't you okay definitely no light switch i like that oh there a lot obviously you got the post there you got the galvanized steel nice detailing got a few bits of wood piled up a few posts Got the pallets over there just to add a little touch to it on the decorative side oh yeah i'll turn on lights come up now turn on lights where's the light switch the lights do turn on so you come over to those pallets no you just come into the shed the light switch is anywhere in the shed by the looks of that Well, that's interesting indeed it hasn't got a dedicated switch at all it's just a general trigger point for the lights well there you have it, it do not come on automatically you can turn it on whenever you like and wherever you like excellent right that's the machine shelter from Bart's of no Bart's so, oh I've done it again I never get these names right Bart son of three I apologise again if I've got that wrong. I'm terrible at pronouncing people's names. Right, that's all the mods for today. I know this has been a bit rushed, but we've already gone well past the half hour mark and we've had loads of mods that we tried to get in. Obviously, you don't want to be sat here listening to me waffle on for any length of time. So drop it in the comments if you like any of the things that you've seen, if you're thinking of using them. We'll see if anybody's got a favourite. But for me, for today, that's it, and I'll see you in the next one.